it took a long time for me to come to the realization that in order for a Jezebel to love you, you have to not love her or need her. It's a strange combination because when you're growing up in the area, you know, in your mind where you think that if you give love and if you love, you treat people good, they'll appreciate you and treat you good. That's not necessarily the case. You can totally treat a Jezebel bad and she will treat you like gold. She'll sacrifice for you, do everything for you and you don't have to really give her nothing. Maybe a little bit of vitamin D, but that ain't, you know, while another guy that looked better than him treat her better and maybe better in the bedroom. She will give him nothing, give him no respect, no attention, you know, won't call back, will ghost him, everything. All because he care and he's available and he's no challenge. But he's stronger, he's, he got good intentions, all that. So a lot of you guys out there wondering what is going on. It's because most of them, most Jezebels are designed to want what they can't have. So they'll never have what they want. That's why the single rate is so high. That's why the divorce rate is so high. Until they lose their, their beauty, lose their looks and hit the wall all the way, then they may, they still won't respect you, but they're gonna deal with you because that's the only thing they can deal with. You know, they want that then, but they really respect that which not they can't have. They respect the man that they can't have. A lot of you guys wondering what's going on. And a lot of you, a lot of y'all girls are cheating. They cheating, man. Listen carefully. I'm telling you what I know. I, I'm a life coach. Many of you know who I am. I'm Alan Williams, the Rayonet. I talk to hundreds of women a year. And they tell me secrets. They're telling me they cheating on you good guys. They cheating on you guys that's working 13, 14 hours in the world. I think I hear a raccoon or something. 13, 14 hours. Um, they cheating on you guys that's working 13, 14 hours a, um, a day. You know what I'm saying? They cheating on y'all. And there's just no other way of getting around it. Thought I saw a pit bull. I was y'all was about to see Superman out here. But um it's sad, but Jezebel, like a lot of you guys already know, these Jezebels are really, really don't have no love and respect for you. You can treat them good, they can laugh around you and everything. They gonna go back to the they gonna go back to the to the guy that give them the least. In this world, less is more. Unfortunately, in this world, less is more. So I advise you guys, man, to keep your head up, stay close to God, pray, focus on your what you love to do, how you can contribute to the world, how you can contribute to God, how you can save lives and get closer to Jesus. Because none of us are perfect and we got to get closer to Jesus because all this is a spiritual warfare. Why I call them Jezebels is because they have the spirit of Jezebel and Eve. And that's the spirit that the, the evil, the dark one, want them to have since the beginning of time. Want them to be Eve, Delilah. Very deceptive, you know. And it's a spiritual thing. And that's how the, you know, the dark forces, that you know, it's a spiritual warfare. And humans, we are stuck in between. And it's sad, but in reality, we have to keep our minds right. We got to understand that we can't get overwhelmed by their beauty and their backside. You see what I'm saying? That backside and that, and that beauty is what blinding a lot, a lot, a lot of guys. So I encourage you, man, to uh, keep your money right. Keep your eyes open, man. Don't get food. The NBA player just got food the other day because of that. So I'll holler at y'all later. Uh, if you want to add something in the comment section, feel free to do that. All right? I'll holler at y'all in a little bit.